Hi, my name is David Hulley and I'm the Director of Customer Experience for Vineland Estates Winery. So we're going to have a look at how to taste wine. Um, we've beautifully opened the bottle up so we're ready to go and uh, we'll pour a bit into the glass now. We may take a bit of an approach here where you're at a restaurant, okay? So the, the, cork, the cork has been removed and they set it down in front of you. What are you supposed to do? Nothing. It's a cork, okay? You see a lot of people will pick it up and they'll smell it. You know what? It smells like a cork. <laughs> or they'll hang it. I don't know what they're doing. Leave it alone. Just, you know, because the important part is what's here. So they will pour you a sample. A splash in the bottom. Now this is what you do, okay? You pick it up. You give it a swirl, a nose, it smells gorgeous, right? <laughs> so taste and you approve it. Let me tell you one thing. You're not supposed to evaluate the wine. There's two things you're looking for. Does it smell like a wet moldy dog, right? Or does it smell um, like a bruised apple or oxidized, right? Or vinegar. If it doesn't smell like either of those, it's good. So I think you can remember, remember that. A lot of people are picking up on, oh yes, I get hints of, uh, you know, um, uh, uh, cherry and black currant and a bit of tobacco. The waiter doesn't care. They just want to know, do you want it or do, or do you not? Okay. Um, so what did we just do there very quickly? I, I want to do it quickly for you because I wanted you to appreciate what you need to do at a restaurant. Um, but first of all, this part. Okay, we're swirling the wine to coat the sides of the glass with a thin film of wine so all the, the aromas, the volatiles jump in the middle such that when you stick your nose in you get the full appreciation of the wine. Okay, that's number one. And in this wine there, there are hints of tobacco, a bit of a cedar box, um, great deep berry. Like the fruit is just extraordinary in this. So, but coming to tasting, you want to take a small amount into your mouth and just leave it in the front and you suck the air through because you're trying to blow the wine up into your nasal passages. That's where you do your tasting, not your tongue. Your tongue is sweet, sour, bitter, salt. Well, in umami, but that doesn't really count. Four things. That's it. Up in your nose, 10,000 things can, you can, yeah, you can recognize up in your nose. So, just like this, a little swirl. Nose. Mm. Mm. Uh, white wines you taste exactly the same way, right? They won't taste the same as a red. They're generally less tannins, um, you know, a little smoother, um, but uh, the, the process is identical. Yeah.